Hi guys, I'm Charlie, a Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a tag, and it is the I Never Book Tag by Lizzie Faye Reads Books. I will link her video down below. First prompt is, I never read that. Name a book that you've never read that everyone else has. The Raven King by Maggie Stiefwater. I have only the last book in the Raven Cycle left and I feel like everyone else has read this entire series except for me and I really want to. Prompt two is, I never read anything so awesome. Name your favorite book. And I went with a recent favorite from this year and that is maybe someday by Colleen Hoover. It has been a long time since a contemporary book captivated me like, it, like Colleen Hoover did with maybe someday. She really impressed me with her writing with her writing skill and the way she could write a love triangle so beautifully and it made me root for two different characters to end up with the same guy. Prompt three is I never thought I would get through it. Name a book that you didn't like but power through it anyway. My girl by Jack Jordan. This was a thriller I actually asked an e arc for and I got it and I read it and I was so disappointed. It was terrible. I rated it one star and I would not recommend it. I absolutely hated it but I wanted to finish it because it was a review copy and I wanted to write a review for it but <sighs> the review obviously wasn't good and I really regret that. I will never finish that. Name a book or series that you don't plan on finishing. Into White by Randy Pink. I only had a couple pages left but I DNF'd it anyway. Because I hated this book through and through, I eventually raced it one star even though I didn't finish it. I had such little pages left I thought I would... I was able to rate it but honestly I hated every minute of reading it and I just couldn't anymore after the brother of the main character said something so cliche I had to stop reading it I honestly I couldn't I hated everything about it while I thought I was going to love it I will never regret reading that name a book you read solely on a recommendation that you ended up really liking A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas I read A Court of Thorns and Roses and I disliked it a lot like it wasn't anything special to me I really wasn't planning on reading on with the series but then I heard everyone raving about the second book and I was like okay this second book is getting a lot more buzz than the first book did so I ended up reading the second book and I will never regret continuing on with the series. I would never do that. Name a relatable book character who made choices you didn't agree with or the things you would never do. Hannah from a Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and if you think why in the hell do you have two copies of this book? Like, I am asking myself the same thing. Apparently I pre-ordered this twice, once in July and once in September, and I got both. But I do not regret one minute of it, like, I love it. But back to Hannah, who is the main character of, the, of this book, one of the main characters, except from uh, Nick, who is the male main character. I really loved Hannah, but I do agree with the action she took, but I would never do anything she did. Like, I probably would have surrendered. Like, I would have been, shoot me now, I am, I can't. I can't do this right now. Like, she went out there with guns and she blazed through it. Like, she shot people, she killed people, she hided, she managed to avoid most people of the enemies. And if she didn't, she would conquer them. And honestly, I would have been like, I can't. I never wanted to admit it. Name a book that you were embarrassed to say you read or were embarrassed to carry around with you. Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James and I liked it as well. I also read the second book and I was halfway through the third book when I stopped reading it, I think. But I wanted to read it because everyone was making such a fuss about it and I thought these books were really addictive. I couldn't stop reading. I needed to know what was going on and how this romance between these two main characters will play out. Like, I won't say it's great literature because it isn't, but I thought it had an addictive quality to it and I actually really liked it. But it's obviously hard to say this to people who have no clue what Fifty Shades of Grey is about and just have the basic idea of it, like what people say, but have never read the books. So I am not quick to say that I have read Fifty Shades of Grey. I never read anything so heartwarming. Name a book or a series that really touched your heart. P.S. I Like You by Casey West. This is a YA contemporary that really made me feel butterflies. It has, didn't have any sex scenes in it. And I think that was so impressive. Because normally I only get butterflies when an author has included a really well-written sex scene. But 
In this YA book, there were no sex scenes, there was just romance and cuteness. And for the first time, I felt butterflies with just that in a book. And she's the first author who has made me feel like that. And I thought that really deserved a shout out. I never laughed so hard. Name a book that made you laugh out loud. Like, I don't laugh through books. Like, I don't. But I just finished a memory book by Laura Avery, which is kind of a sad book because it is about a girl who slowly loses her memory because she has a sort of dementia but worse than that like her her body is shutting off she's losing her memory she's going to die eventually and she has to come to terms with that kind of but there was a particular scene that really made me laugh so here the main character is talking to her mom and she says to her mom I don't know mom, now that I'm about to graduate I plan on being more spontaneous uh, Mom opened her eyes and burst out laughing I said, the main character Got spontaneity on the calendar for next Tuesday Like, <laughs> even planning sp spontaneity, I was just, I was laughing at that I just, I was lying in bed at night and I read that and I was like, <laughs> you know, like just a laugh I never could have made it through childhood without it. Name a favorite childhood book or book series. And I recently rediscovered the Goosebumps series by R.L. Stein. Like, those books creeps me out when I was a child, but I really liked reading them. I haven't read a lot of them, but I sincerely remember those being books I could read, but I would get nightmares from them. I am planning on reading the whole Goosebumps series from book one, so I can... And I can see if I get still get scared by them, I probably will. Like, I will still probably get creeped out by those books. So this was the I Never Book Tag. I'm not going to tag anyone, but if you want to do this tag and this sounds interesting to you, please do it. I would love to see your answers to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!